Hi guys, welcome to this video. I am your quantitative ability tutor Kasturi Sanup and I am going to teach you time, distance and speed in this particular video. Guys, this is an extremely important topic as far as exams are concerned. Be it any competitive exam, be it a banking exam or any entrance exam, time, distance and speed questions are bound to come. There are a variety of questions that can be asked and I'll be covering each variety in one specific video. So let's get started but before starting if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel please do press the bell icon and subscribe to our YouTube channel. With this let's get started with the concepts. So let us start this video with simple conversion concepts. Now the unit for time, time is measured in hours. It can be measured in minutes and it can also be measured in seconds. So we have these three common unit of time. So first guys, you have to see what the question specifies. If at all the question is asking you to find the answers, answer in hours and if at all you find it in minutes, and you don't convert it, then you end up getting the wrong answer. So in this concept, we are going to start with really the basic thing and that is conversion of hours into minutes and seconds. So one hour we all know equals to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So one hour equal to 60 into 60 seconds, which comes out as 3600 seconds. Similarly, 1 minute is equal to 1 upon 60th of an hour. 1 second is equal to 1 upon 60th of a minute, which is also equal to 1 upon 60 into 60 hours, which is 1 upon 3600 hours. So this is very important to know. I am sure most of you guys already know it. But you have to be thorough with your conversion. You need to know what exactly in which unit is the question asking you to find the answer. Now I will go with the quick conversion. 15 minutes to seconds and hours. If we want to convert 15 minutes into seconds. So we have 15 into 60 seconds which is nothing but 9000 seconds. If the same thing, if I want to convert into R, then I have to divide it by 60. So I have to divide 50 by 60 in order to convert it into hours, which comes out to be 1 upon 4th R. So 15 minutes is nothing but 9000 seconds or it is 1 by 4, that is 0 0.25 R. Now let us convert 120 seconds to minutes and hours. Now if at all we want to convert minutes into uh, one, seconds into minutes, then we have to divide by 60. So when we convert seconds into minutes, 120 seconds into minutes, we just divide it by 60 and we get it as 2 minutes. So 120 seconds is nothing but 2 minutes. If we want to further convert this into hours, we have to divide by 3600. So we get it as 1 upon 30th hour. So 120 second is nothing but 1 upon 30th hour. Now let us see 2 hours. We have to convert 2 hours to minutes and seconds. So if we want to convert an hour into minute, we have to multiply it by 60. So we are going to multiply by 60 and we get the answer as 120. So 2 hours is nothing but 120 minutes. And if at all we want to convert it into seconds, then we have to multiply it by 3600. So 2 hours is nothing but 2 into 3600 seconds, which is 7200 seconds. So please be thorough with this kind of con conversion because the questions directly are not going to ask you about any conversion. But if at all you have to, you get the answer in one particular unit and you have to convert it into another, you should be able to do it very quickly. So please be thorough with the conversion. Now let us see distance. Now we saw time. Now let us see distance, distance conversion concepts. So generally distance is given in kilometers or meters. So one kilometer is 1000 meter and if we convert one meter into kilometers, we just have to divide it by thousand. 
Now, when we have to convert 5,500 meters to kilometers, all we do is we divide 500 by 1,000 and we get half a kilometer. So, we have used this formula. Then we have to convert kilometers into meters, we multiply by 1000. So, when we have to convert 1.8 kilometer into meter, we multiply it by 1000 and we get 1800 meters. So, this is a simple concept of conversion. Now, we have speed. So, speed is measured either in meter per second or kilometer per hour. So, what is the conversion for meter for converting kilometer per hour to meter per second? So, we know that 1 kilometer is nothing but 1000 meter divided by 1 hour is nothing but 3600 seconds. So, if we solve this, if we simplify it, we get 5 upon 18. So, if at all we want to convert kilometers per hour to meter per second, we have to multiply this by 5 by 18. Similarly, if at all we want to convert meter per second into kilometers per hour, we have to multiply by the reciprocal of 5 by 18, which is 18 by 5. So, let's see a few examples. If you want to con convert 90 kilometer per hour to meters per second, all we need to do is we have to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. We have to multiply by 5 by 18. So, which comes out to be 25 meters per second. Now, if at all we want to convert 20 meter per second to kilometer per hour, we have to multiply this by 18 upon 5, which comes out as 70. 2 km per hour. So, this is a very simple concept of conversion that we have learned and in this particular video, we are just going to solve examples. We are just going to solve problems which deal with simple conversion or which deals with the formula of speed. So, I haven't covered the formula of speed which I will be co covering it in short time. So, I haven't covered the formula for speed. So, let's see what exactly speed is. Is. Guys, we know this since our school days that speed is nothing but distance divided by time. If at all you are sitting in a car or if you are riding on a bike, you know that there is this kind of a speedometer. So, a speedometer tells you what is the speed of the vehicle in which you are traveling or which you are driving. So, what exactly that means? It means that what is the distance that you are covering in one particular hour? That is what a speedometer shows. So, every time, whenever you hear the word speed, always remember that speed means distance covered in a particular time span. So, when I say that my speed of my car is 80 kilometers per hour, it means that I am covering 80 kilometers in one particular hour. When I say my speed is 90 kilometers per hour, it means that I am covering 90 kilometers in one hour. It also means now we have converted 90 kilometers to meters per second. It means that my speed is 25 meters per second, which is that I can cover or my vehicle can cover 25 meters in one particular second. In one second, it is covering 25 meters. So, please do remember this formula. Speed is nothing but distance upon time. Now, let us solve few questions to make the concept more clear. How many minutes will a person take to cover a distance of 400 meters if he is running at a speed of 20 kilometers per hour? Guys, we are dealing with simple conversion problems. They are really simple. But I wanted you to understand these problems first so that you are thorough with the conversion concept. Problems as easy as these may not even be asked in the exams. Now in this question, it is saying that the distance, distance is 400 meter. And you have to find out the time that is taken and that also, the question says that you have to find it out in minutes. If the speed is given in kilometers per hour, 
So guys, did you notice that here we are given the units in we are having different units like we are asked to find the time in minutes when we are given the speed in kilometers per hour. So first thing that we have to do is we have to convert or this into minutes per so the first thing that we do is we have to convert everything to common units now we are asked to find out the time in minutes we can easily find out the time in seconds and convert it into minutes now the speed is given in kilometers per hour so let us first convert the speed in meters per second because the distance is given in meters. So when you see a problem, you first have to see if the units are matching. If the units are not matching, you have to bring them to the same unit. You have to convert so that you can bring it to the same unit. So let us first convert the speed into meters per second. Now we already know in order to convert it into meters, in order to convert kilometers per hour, to meters per second, we have to multiply it by 5 by 18. So let us do that. 5 upon 18 and we have 15. The answer comes as 50 upon 9 meters per second. So when we convert 20 kilometers per hour, it means that it is equivalent to 50 upon 9 meters per second. Now we have converted speed into meters per second and we already have the distance. We have the formula for speed which is nothing but distance upon time. Now my distance is 400 meters which is given and I have to find out the time. So all I do is I put my variables in the formula and I get Seventy two seconds. My time comes out as seventy two seconds. Please keep in mind the unit here. Now we are asked to find out in terms of minutes. So all we do is we divide this by sixty and we get one point two minute. So the right answer here is one point two minute. Please remember guys to find out the answer in correct unit. In the unit that it has been asked. Now here I haven't written the options. But if at all we had the options, I am sure one option would be 72 minutes. But we have got the answer in seconds. So please do remember what is the unit you are dealing with. That is very important and most of the people mess up with the unit. And so you end up getting a very easy question also wrong. Now let us see another problem. An athlete runs 200 meter race in 24 seconds. His speed in kilometers per hour is. So first we are given distance in meters and we are given time in seconds. So let us find the speed in meters per second. Now, now we know the uh, formula for speed is nothing but distance upon time. So we have 200 upon 24 which is nothing but 50 or we can say 25 upon 3 meters per second. Now when we convert it into kilometers per hour, we just have to multiply it by 18 upon 5 in order to convert it into kilometers per hour. So when we simplify, we get 30. So the correct answer is option number D which is 30 kilometers per hour. Please remember to play properly with the units here. Now let us see another question. A train travels at an average speed of 50 miles per hour for 2.5 hours and then it travels for 70 miles for 1.5 hours. How far did the train travel for entire 4 hours? So guys we are given that the train is traveling 50 miles per hour for the first 2.5 hours and for the rest 1.5 hours it is traveling 70 miles per hour. 
So we are asked to find out the total distance between this point A and B. Now we know the speed and we know the time. We also, in the second case also, we know the speed and we know the time. So distance is unknown. So we can find out the distance. So distance in this case is nothing but speed into time. So in first case, distance is nothing but 50 into 2.5, which is nothing but 125 miles. In case number 2, 70 into 1.5, which is, which is 105 miles. So the total distance is 230 miles. All we do is we add these two distance 1 and distance 2 in order to get the total distance travel. So the total distance comes out to be 230 miles. This was a very, very common, very, very uh, simple question which dealt with average speed. Now, let me te teach you the concept of average speed. If at all you are asked to find out the average speed, please do not calculate the average the way we calculate averages. When you are dealing with the average speed, you have to first add the distance and divide by the addition of the time. So, if at all you are given that the first speed is 10 and the second speed is 20 kilometers per hour and you are asked to find out the average speed then the average speed is not 10 plus 20 divided by 2 but in this case you have to find out the distance 1 you have to find out the distance 2 you have to add both of them and you have to find out the total time and then divide it by the total time so basically this question also tests that concept of yours so, please be thorough with the average speed as well. Now, let us see the next question. One of the buses complete a journey of 300 kilometers in 7.5 hours and another journey of 450 kilometers in 9 hours. The ratio of their average speed is... So guys, this is a very simple problem. It just deals with the, your knowledge of speed formula. So, we have... One bus which is covering a distance of 300 kilometers in 7.5 hours. So, my first speed is 300 divided by 7.5. And my second speed is 450 divided by 9. So, I can write 300 upon 7.5 as 3000 upon 75. And I am doing this because I do not like decimal now, decimal points. And this I can write as, if I simplify it, I get 50. I will also simplify this. So, my ratio of the speed is nothing but 40 is to 50, which is nothing but 4 is to 5. So, the correct answer is 4 is to 5. So, this was very simple question which was dealing with your knowledge of the concept of speed. Now, let us see another question. A man in a train notices that he can count 21 telephone posts in one minute. If they are known to be 50 meter apart, what is the speed of the train? So this is a very interesting question. There is a man who is traveling in a train and when he starts the train, there is one telephone post and he counts 21 such telephone posts. So this is one telephone, telephone post and this is again another telephone post. This is the third telephone post. This is the fourth telephone post. So, I have such 21 telephone posts. So, now these posts, they are 5 meter away from each other. Sorry, they are 50 meter away from each other. So, now if you count the number of the distance between them then between the first and the second 
telephone poles the distance is 50 meters similarly between 2 and 3 the distance is 50 meter so like that there are 20 such points where the distance is 50 meter so the total distance that is covered by the train is 20 into 50 because there are 21 telephone post which means that there are 20 points there are 22 different points from which the distance is 50 meter so total we have multiplied 20 with 50 and we get the total value as 1000 meter so within 1 minute the train is uh, running at 1000 meter per minute so now the distance traveled is 1000 and we have to calculate it in number of hours and the time taken is 1 minute so which is nothing but the train is running at the distance of 1 km per minute now there are 60 such minutes in one particular hour so the distance traveled so the speed of the train is 60 km per hour so this was again a very simple question guys please do remember if at all you have a question which deals with wherein there are some telephone post or there are some poles and if you given x number of poles you have to divide, you have to multiply the distance between each pole by x minus 1 the mistake that people do here is they multiply 50 with 21 and they end up getting the wrong answer so you don't have to multiply it by 21 but you have to multiply by 20 because there are going to be 20 such distance points between 21 posts so this is also a simple question but many candidates end up making mistake by multiplying it by the number of telephone posts sound is set to travel in air at 1000 at 1100 feet per second so we have speed which is given as 1100 feet per second a man hears an axe striking the tree 11 upon 5 seconds after it strikes so we are given the speed we are given the time which is 11 upon 5 how far is the man from the wood chopper so we need to find the distance now it is a simple problem which deals again with the concept of speed so we are given the speed which is 1100 we are given the time which is 11 upon 5 so my distance is nothing but speed into time so this comes out as 1000 So the correct answer is two four two zero, two twenty into eleven. So now here it doesn't even require any conversion because already the answer is given in feet. Now let us see the next problem. A certain distance is covered by a cyclist at a certain speed. If a jogger covers half the distance in double the time, the ratio of jogger to cyclist is. Guys, if at all you are asked. such kind of question which involve no number then please take your pen and paper and write the write it down use variables in this case now we have a certain distance is covered so let that distance be b it is covered by the cyclist at a certain speed so let s be the distance covered by the cyclist and let s be the speed of the cyclist let t be the time that is that is required by the cyclist to cover that particular distance so we have all these for the cyclist now we also have a second person who is a jogger so the jogger covers half the distance so the distance covered by jogger is half of b and he takes double the time so the time taken by the jogger is 2t now we have to find out what is the ratio of the speed now the speed of the jogger is going to be speed is given by distance upon time so we are asked to find out the ratio of jogger to the cyclist speed now let us find out the this is the formula for speed now the distance traveled by the jogger is half 
d and the time taken is 2t so this is the speed of the jogger now we have cyclist so cyclist travels d is to t my d gets cancelled here my t gets cancelled here so the correct answer is 1 upon 4 is to 1 which is nothing but 1 is to 4 so the ratio of the speed of the jogger to the cyclist is 1 is to 4. The correct answer is answer C. Look carefully, read the question carefully. It asks the ratio of jogger to the cyclist speed. Please do not calculate the other way around because they have given the information of the cyclist first. Always in case of speed distance time, I can assure you that 80% of the time the mistake is made because people, the candidates, they do not read the question properly. So please see what the question asks and which unit is the question asking for the answer. Now let us see another question. A person can cover a distance of 6 kilometers in 45 minutes. So he is covering 6 kilometers in 45 minutes. If he covers half of the dis distance in two-third of the time, to cover the remaining distance in the remaining time, his speed in kilometers per hour has to be. Now the question asks in kilometers per hour and we are given it in minutes. We are given the time in minutes. Now what exactly is the question saying? So there is this distance A, B which is 6 kilometers. And that person takes 45 minutes to cover this particular distance. Now he has, he covers one half of the distance. Which means that he is covering 3 kilometers. And he takes two third of the total time. Now two third of 45 is 30 minutes. So he covers 3 kilometers in 30 minutes. So he has to cover the remaining 3 kilometer in 15 minutes. Correct? Because total he has only 45 minutes to cover the 6 kilometers. So now the question asked that the remaining 3 kilometers, what should be his speed? So he has to cover 3 kilometers in 15 minutes. Now this is the speed. 3 upon 15 but this speed is in kilometers per minute and I have to convert it into kilometers per hour. So if at all I want to convert my minutes into hours, uh, what I do is I divide this 15 by 60, correct? So which means that I multiply this number, this 60 goes up and I multiplied by 60. So the total answer comes out as 12 kilometer per hour. So my correct answer is option number C. So this was again a very easy question and it was dealing with conversion, conversion of units. Now let us see the last problem in this concept. A man travels a distance of 250 miles in 5.5 hours and returns in 4.5 hours. What is his average speed? So guys, few minutes ago I was telling you about the average speed. So we give speed as distance upon time. Now there is this man who has to travel 250 miles and he is going in 4, 5.5 hours and he is coming back in 4.5 hours. So we have to calculate his average speed. Now guys speed as I told you is given by distance upon time. So when you are calculating average speed what you do is you add the total distance that has been covered. So he goes 250 miles and he returns 250 miles. So the total distance travelled is 250 plus 250 which is 500 miles. Divided by you add the total time that he takes. So we have 4.5 plus 
5.5 hours. So, which is 4.5 plus 5.5 hours. So, my total comes out as 500 divided by 10. So, my speed is nothing but 50 miles per hour. So, this is the average speed. So, my correct answer is option number D, which is 50 miles per hour. So, that is how you calculate average speed, wherein you calculate the total distance travel divided by total time. So, guys, we covered this is the first video in the time distance, uh, time speed distance series and we have covered a really basic concept. If you are already familiar with this concept or if you are giving entrance exams since a few years or this is your second attempt, you probably are familiar with the concepts of conversion. So, you may skip this video. But if you are new, then please do revisit this video if you haven't understood any particular concept. Solve problems based on conversion because this kind of problems won't be directly asked in the exams but then you will have mixed problems which will deal with conversion so it is better that you make your basics very clear and time distance speed problems are bound to come in the exam and there is no escape so you cannot leave, leave this topic and study for quantitative ability so that is it for this video stay tuned to our next coming video wherein we will be seeing another concept thank you